Okay, in this reaction, we're gonna cover most of the reagents that are used in organic chemistry for the oxidations of the alcohols. So, in this example molecule, we have three types of alcohols. We have a primary alcohol, a secondary alcohol, and a tertiary alcohol. And we're gonna identify how each of these oxidizing agents is gonna react or not react with these alcohols. So let's start with the first reagent, sodium dichromate, that is pointing to the top. Sodium dichromate in acidic conditions, this is a very strong oxidizing agent. So what you want to remember about this is that they're going to oxidize any primary or secondary alcohol all the way to carboxylic acid or ketone or whatever is possible to do in that given molecule. In this case, this primary alcohol is going to be oxidized to carboxylic acid and the secondary alcohol is going to be oxidized into ketone. So one key thing here you want to remember is that tertiary alcohols, they are just unreactive. They do not get oxidized no matter how strong the oxidizing agent is. So whenever you see that, it doesn't matter the reagent, just leave it as it is. The only option is here, just take this and burn it up in oxygen, convert everything into carbon dioxide, but that's just out of any synthetic purposes. So here once again, secondary goes into ketone, primary alcohol is going to be converted into the carboxylic acid. Next we have the PDC, so pyridium dichlorochromate, and these are used to convert selectively. If you have a primary alcohol and you're gonna convert it, oxidize it into an aldehyde without going all the way to carboxylic acids, that's where you would use it. Now, as far as the secondary alcohol is concerned, these are going to be oxidized into ketones, right? So there's no possibility of oxidizing the secondary alcohol into an aldehyde. Once again, tertiary alcohol just gonna stay as it is. Potassium permanganate, that's another strong oxidizing agent. So very much the same story as we have here with the sodium dichromate. It's going to oxidize this into carboxylic acid. Secondary goes into ketone, and we do not touch the tertiary alcohol. Next, we have the sferin oxidation. So sferin oxidation is used again to selectively convert the primary alcohol into an aldehyde. And the secondary alcohol is going to be converted into ketone and Tertiary is not reacting, once again, remember that. So next we have the DMP, which is another common oxidizing agent. So DMP stands for desmartin per iodinane, or sometimes it's just referred as to desmartin oxidation. And this is also a selective reagent that if you want to oxidize a primary alcohol into an aldehyde, that's what you're going to use. And everything else, again, same story. Tertiary alcohol, don't do anything. Secondary goes into a ketone. So here the sodium hypochlorite, so that's the bleach, and bleach is an oxidizing agent. So in fact, that's how it works. It's just oxidizing the double bonds, the dyes, then converting them into colorless compounds. And so that's, a, again, pretty strong oxidizing agent, and it's going to convert the primary alcohol into carboxylic acid, tertiary nothing, and here we're gonna have the ketone again. Next, we have the PCC. So PCC is pyridinium chlorochromate, similar to the pyridinium dichlorochromate. It's another selectively oxidizing agent that is converting the primary alcohol into an aldehyde. The chromium oxide, so these are usually very strong oxidizing agents, especially here you can see acidic conditions. And these are just going to oxidize, again, everything all the way to carboxylic acids or ketones as possible, again, leaving the tertiary alcohols intact.